after after weeks of street protests, disruptions in parliament, and heated arguments in courtrooms, the Supreme Court has finally settled the debate over the discrepancies in the NEET undergraduate exam. A bench headed by the Chief Justice of India, D. Bhai Chandrachur, has rejected petitions by a set of students seeking the cancellation of the exam results and conducting a retest. While acknowledging the fact that paper leaks did take place in Patna and Hazaribagh, the court concluded that there is not enough evidence to suggest that sanctity of the exam was compromised, nor is there any proof, according to the Supreme Court, to suggest that the paper leak was on a large scale. Now, the Chief Justice of India-led bench also observed that directing a fresh exam would have serious consequences on students, including the destruction of the admission schedule, the effects on education, and impact on availability of medical professionals in the future. The government has welcomed the order, but has now lashed out at Rahul Gandhi, demanding an apology from the leader of uh, opposition for what they call misleading and provoking students. Listen in to Dharmendra Pradhan. आज देश की इसी सारे कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन में ना केवल भारत में विश्व में हमारी आई हमारी भारतीय शिक्षा व्यवस्था से पढ़े हुए इंजीनियर्स डॉक्टर्स विद्यार्थी दुनिया में अपना प्रतिष्ठा बनाए हैं भारत की इसमें प्रतिष्ठा बनी है ये सारे एग्जामिनेशन को निंदित करते हुए राहुल गांधी जी भारत को ही निंदा पहुंचाए हैं देश में लगातार चुनाव पराजय को स्वीकार नहीं करने के कारण अनर्की सिविल अनरेस्ट उनकी रणनीति की हिस्सा बनी हुई है इन सबको मैं अपील करना चाहता हूं कम से कम देश की नौजवानों को देश के विद्यार्थियों को उनकी अभिभावकों को वो माफी मांगना चाहिए कि आपने देश को ठेस पहुंचाया है देश में अनर्की खड़ा करना चाहे देश में एक सिविल अनरेस्ट हो ये उसके आपने षड्यंत्र किया देश आपको माफ नहीं करेगा हाउवर दी ऑर्डर विल है इनफैक्ट इमेजिट रेमिफिकेशन ऑन द मेरिट लिस्ट गिवन द करेक्शन इन द ग्रेडिंग ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन इन द फिजिक्स पेपर फोर्टी फोर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी आउट ऑफ द टॉपर्स लिस्ट एंड फोर पॉइंट टू टू लैक स्टूडेंट्स विल लूज फाइव मार्क्स इन देर ओवरऑल स्कोर्स बट so this is finally the end of the neat saga that is the question or are we on the cusp of yet another twist in the tale one thing is certain with 24 lakh futures at stake this issue cannot be and should not be brushed under the carpet let me get reactions from my guests who are joining me this evening keshav agarwal is president of the education education educator society i beg your pardon someone who has been with us here on the show on multiple shows that we have done on neet and we have abhishek sudhir who is an advocate who will be who will be arguing from the other side if i may uh, but before i come to you abhishek i want to go to keshav agarwal ji keshav agarwal Uh, you know we asked a lot of students to come to the show you know that every time you've been on this show there have been students on this show because after all uh, this is an issue that impacts them more than it impacts any one of us they refuse they said we've lost the battle is that how you feel today as well that a battle has been lost see losing winning that is part of the thing and students need to understand in courts the decisions are not made on the basis of emotions but on the basis of facts and today enough evidence was not there to prove the facts so as a reason court had no choice but to give a decision which is in the best interest had there been uh, more evidences like patna or hazari bag definitely court would have gone ahead but in the present scenario with 24 lakh students counseling there and if a renit would have been ordered it would have taken another good two odd months so in the present situation court did not rule out everything they did mention that in future since the investigation is on and if any such thing is found then definitely those students will not be eligible ahead. and Okay there so Keshav Agarwal are you telling me are you telling me just a minute Mr yeah. Agarwal are you telling me that there has been a systematic paper leak 
only there is no evidence that has been found beyond Patna and Hazari Bagh, which is why the court has taken the, this decision. Is it what you're telling me? Do you continue to stick to your stand that there has been a widespread paper leak? See, there have been anomalies. Otherwise, for 50 odd days, the matter would not have been there. And court did give so much patient hearing. It did not take up any matter other than NIT. And even government was in embarrassment due to NTA. You could see there were a lot of anomalies that came out. It is not the job of government to conduct the paper. It has given an agency a role. But if agency did not perform well, there were a lot of anomalies about retest, about the conduct, about the process they use, the security, how much they give. So there were a lot of questions that were raised. And definitely, when you see the entire process, right from high scores and this happened this year so there are many unanswered questions mm. even today even today cbi is not reached to any conclusion Abish so okay. overall there are a lot of things yeah yes okay abhishek sudhir come in here the court is saying no evidence so far to suggest that there has been a widespread leak which is yeah. why we cannot order a retest yeah. My question is, how does the court know? CBI is still investigating the matter. Around 28 people have already been arrested. Clear paper leaks have happened in Hazari Bagh and Patna. Now, Patna and Hazari Bagh mein log pakde gai, toh wo chor. Hmm. Fact is, hume kaise pata ki aur jage chor nahi hai? Just because they have not been caught and identified? Okay. Shreya, say you make a statement that there has been a widespread systemic paper leak. Hmm. Now, that is not a fact. It's a statement. If you are able to adduce evidence to support that statement, it becomes a fact. But how is now, it the job of 24 lakh students or people like Mr. Agarwal to provide that evidence? It's Ye not their is, job. This no, is the work, uh, this is the job of the CBI. The yeah. CBI is still doing the, their Absolutely. job. Absolutely. It is the job of the CBI. Hmm. But if Rahul Gandhi and various educators are going to make a statement hmm. that, oh, the paper, you know, there has been a widespread systemic paper leak. They have to provide evidence. They are not providing evidence, then they're uttering a falsehood. If you're making an assertion that there's no widespread The students are the ones system. who st started saying it, not us. But they don't have the Star evidence Star. for it. So let's see, let's go step by step. Tushar Mehta, Solicitor General, today in the Supreme Court, took the Supreme Court through the findings of the CBI. He said that there have been paper leaks in two cities, Hazari Bagh and Patna. Hmm. 155 students have had access to the paper. Hmm. Some 23, 24 odd lakh students have appeared for the paper. Hmm. So. Just because 155 students cheated, we can't penalize the other 23, 24 lakhs. Then the Chief Justice uh, Chandrashud asked Mr. Uh, Mehta, what do you say about these anomalies that Mr. Agarwal also referred to in terms of the marks? Hmm. He said that we've got IIT Madras to analyze the data. Hmm. The top 100 students, right, the 100 toppers that we have are from 95 different centers from 56 different cities spread across 18 states and union territories. How can you say that the top 100 of all had access to the paper when they are from 56 different cities? That kind of coordination we don't have, you know, in our government, in our politics. No, how can these students coordinate amongst themselves across 56 cities and 18 states and union territories? Yes, the marks have been higher than previous years, but that's not enough to mm -hmm. cast aspersions on the integrity of the exam. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mehta told the Chief Justice's court that the syllabus has been reduced and the explanation offered by IIT Madras and those who have analyzed the marks and the data is that yes, there has been an increase in the number of toppers, the number of marks. But this simply widespread leak is not possible. If all of the toppers were from Hazari Bagh and Patna, hmm. look at that, even Hazari Bagh and Patna does not have a majority of the toppers, even though they have had access to the paper. The leak has been confined to Hazari Bagh and Patna. Why was it not on WhatsApp? Why was there no digital leak is the question the Chief Justice then asked Mr. Mehta. He said that the solver gang that was able to procure the paper sent individuals to solve the paper, memorize the questions, and then provide the students with those questions. If they WhatsApped it to one student, they knew that it will leak. And they had only wanted to give the, uh, the questions to students who had paid them the money, basically. Mm. So it, there was no digital leak, there was no WhatsApp leak mm. because 
the criminal masterminds themselves of the solver gang mm -hmm. did not want the paper leak digitally because sure. they were charging 30 35 lakhs from the students sure. no widespread paper leak leak confined to 155 students mm -hmm. yes as mr agalwal said chief justice chandrachud said that as the cbi probe is ongoing mm -hmm. if it comes to light that there are other centers where there has been a leak mm -hmm. then those students will have their exam results nullified mm -hmm. but there is no question now of re-neat. Hmm. re, -neat. re -neat is dead, basically. Mr. Abhishek, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, would you want to come in here? Fact is that IIT Madras came in, hmm. they analyzed the results. Then there was a demand that the results be, be put out in the public domain. The results were put out in the public domain. All coaching centers, parents could do whatever analysis they wanted to do, etc. The Supreme Court, the highest court of the land and institution, one of the very few institutions that are left in this country in whom we still trust, has come out and said, by the looks of it, no widespread leak. Is it time for this matter to now end? Or do you see, or do you see a review petition being filed in the Supreme Court? See, we have to respect the decision of the Apex Court. There is no doubt about it. Now, mm -hmm. this matter mm -hmm. definitely would end. There would be no review petition as far as I think. But there has to be a new beginning, new beginning of reforms, new beginning to get back the trust of the students who are looking ahead to be mm -hmm. doctors, engineers. There was not one exam. There were other exams. CUET had problems. Net exam had to be cancelled. So let us not play the blame game. Let us accept some facts that the mm -hmm. reform for examination mm -hmm. is needed. And if we don't strengthen the system each year, there will be people who will be taking advantage of it and slipping in the system mm -hmm. and medical is such a profession that even if few people slip in then they will play with the lives of the people so we need to build that trust we need to have the reforms mm -hmm. we need to get away with the shortcomings we cannot just you know uh, keep uh, that matter is gone and next year again this happens we need lot of reforms there is lot to so we all agree with that I, I, so I, many I, points we agree with that like but here's just one point i would like to make yeah okay I, I, I agree, agree I agree, I account. totally agree with that. Of course, of course there has been a lapse. 155 students should not have had access to the paper. That's that's absolutely there has Even been a the lapse. Even the fact that the government and the NTA dealt with it horribly. Of course, but that the being said... The first reaction of the government but that and the NTA said, was what? Of course, hua hai. of course. Of course. Kuch I See, at that's the end not of the day, you, 155 how students... How you respond to a charge. True. 155 students got access to the paper. Like Mr. Agarwal said, this should be a beginning. It should be a learning. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't make these mistakes again in the future. The NTA Director General has been replaced. Mr. Pradhan is also on notice and he has said that he will ensure that the integrity of other exams are not compromised. Several exams have been postponed. You have to learn from it. That being said, I would also like the students, the educators, these coaching institutes to exercise some restraint. To just cast aspersions and say there has been a, a widespread paper leak and every topper, every student who has done well has cheated. That is also wrong. No, that no, also no. does Abhishek disservice Sudhir. to the system. Are yeah. paper leaks new in this country? Absolutely oh my not. God. Absolutely Look not. at the states of Uttar Pradesh. Look at the Absolutely state of Rajasthan. Not, but Shreya, we have to every go on year, evidence. Every year you have paper it's leaks. Not every year say, people it's not enough to say. It's not enough to say. So paper leaks is a reality in this country. It and is, if a bunch of students come out and say there has been a paper leak in need, you right. need to believe them. Because in the end, hmm. it did turn out to be but true. They were saying that the marks, they say that, look, so many toppers, the marks are so high, they've all cheated. I don't have to believe that. And the Supreme Court's judgment vindicates from day one I've been saying on this issue, no re -neat. Until and unless it's proven that there is a widespread paper leak, the Supreme Court, I think, has put the matter to rest. There might be a review petition filed, but there is no error manifest on the judgment of the Supreme Court. Hmm. The review will be heard by the same court. So they're not the, going to rule The way I'm this. looking at it, yeah. there is no re -neat, Yeah. And uh, the Supreme Court is saying there has been no widespread leakage of the paper simply because there is not enough evidence available for it. No, I don't the think CBI it's happened, is still, I don't still think it's happened because the, matter. the data is just not supported. Look, Chalo. there has to be introspection, of okay. course. But we leave it there. Yes, the NTA, on all sides. The NTS chief has been sacked. We know that. So that is something that is uh, uh, that has already happened. Uh, will the NTA manage to resurrect itself under this new panel that has been formed? We all hope so. Mr. Agarwal, out of time, but if you have 10 seconds, ka kuch bolna hai, bol dijiye. One big thing that has come out that nobody would pay a 75 lakh mm. amount. So definitely things were not at the right end. If such big monies are involved, 
then we cannot overlook and we need to go deep inside. And one thing, can a city beat all the states of India? Seeker has result above Seeker. all states except UP and Maharashtra. So what happens is it was never investigated. It's a deep thing because we all were here. So definitely now we should begin for reform. 75 lakhs, 30 lakhs. This is something which we don't want to hear. We need quality doctors, not fake doctors. And I hope government now will begin the process and show that we can do a system or a good system where there will be no paper leak and the confidence okay. of students now needs to be restored. Under the yeah. system, there okay. cannot be but as I look injustice. At it, okay. Failure okay. of the, the system Supreme Court has ruled. The Supreme Okay. Okay, but the Supreme Court has ruled, but I think for many students across this country, there will always be a question mark over the neat undergraduate exam results this year. We'll leave it there for the moment. Kesha Agarwal, thank you very much for joining us. Abhishek Sudhir, thank you very much for coming all the way to the studio.